Welcome to my channel, everyone. Today we're going to learn all about expanded form. And we're going to be taking a look at numbers and using our place value skills from the last video to help us write numbers in expanded form and something called expanded notation. I'm going to tell you all about it. So let's dig in. All right, so let's start with something pretty easy for us to begin with. So a number like 583. So just to show you what expanded form is, it's really just taking the different digits in the number, so the 5, 8, and 3, and writing or telling me how much that's really worth based on what place it's in. So since we talked a lot about the places, the place value, this will be really easy to kind of take it one step further. So that five, let's start there. How much is that five really worth? How much is that digit worth knowing what place it's in? All right, so it's in the hundreds place, so it's worth 500. We're gonna write that down on our chalkboard. And then we're gonna put a little plus sign because we're showing that if we added up all these values, we would get the original number, the 583. So now, what do you think about the eight? How much is that really worth based on where, what place it's in? All right, it's in the tens place, and there's eight of them. So you could even count up, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So it's worth 80. Then we're going to write down another plus sign to show that we're going to also add up that next, that last place value, the three. What is that really worth? All right, you got it. It's worth three because it's in the ones place. And so it's just worth three. So that is expanded form right there. All right, now I'm going to show you what expanded notation is. So I mentioned earlier that there's a difference between expanded form and expanded notation. And so today you're gonna to learn a little bit more about it. So let me show you with my easy example, the 583, what it would look like in expanded notation. So it's very similar. We're still going to think about the place value of the digit, but we are gonna write these as what I like to call groups of. So for example, let me just show you with this number. So we have a five and we know it's in the hundreds. So I like to say it like this. I've got five groups of 100. So I'm gonna write that in, those are called parentheses. So five groups of 100. And then you're still gonna put a plus sign because we still wanna show that if we did this to every digit in the number and added it together, then we would be composing that original number, 583. All right, so now let's do it with the eight. So think about what the place value is of the eight. Okay, great, you got it, the tens. And we have eight groups of 10. So again, we're gonna put it in parentheses eight groups of 10. All right, you're getting it. I know this is a little different, but I think you're gonna get it. Then we're gonna put another plus sign and we're gonna think about that three. So how do you think we could write that three in expanded form? All right, so it's three groups of one. So again, we can write it in parentheses, three groups of one. All right, great job. You just learned a little bit more about expanded notation. And next, we can try some bigger numbers and try expanded form and expanded notation. All right, so now let's try a more challenging number. So we're gonna try uh, expanded form first, and we're gonna try it with the number 24,731. Okay, so let me write that on my chalkboard. And then we're just going to go through every digit. Let's start with the largest place value and write the value. What is it worth? 
So let's look at that two. Think about what place the two is in. Okay, so it's in the ten thousands place. So I like to think, you know, those can sometimes be a little harder to think about how much it's worth. But I like to think about, you know, we know how to count by tens so easily. 10, 20, 30, 40. So I think we should be able to count by 10,000 really easily. So 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000. So based on that, how, how much do you think two ten thousands are worth? You got it, 20,000. So that little tip really helps me a lot. Okay, now let's look at the four. How much do you think that four is worth? Think about what place it's in, and then it usually helps me to think about how much it's worth. Okay, it's in the thousands place, so it's worth 4,000. Great job. Now, the hundreds, tens, and ones are kind of the, um, you know, easiest numbers to work on. So this next part will be a breeze. Okay, so now let's look at the seven. How much is that seven worth? Great, 700. The three. Awesome, 30. And then the one, how much is that last digit worth? Just one. Okay, you got it. All right, now let's check out our expanded notation for really large numbers. So we're gonna try that same thing we learned earlier, but just with bigger place values. So let's start with our two. Um, we decided it was in the 10 thousands place and there's two of them. So we're just gonna say two groups of 10,000 and that's gonna be in those parentheses just to show, just to group the different digits into their own little section. All right, now let's do the four. So what place is it in? Oh, great, the thousands place. So that means there's four groups of 1,000. Let's write that in there. Then let's do the hundreds, tens, and ones, which once again, those are kind of the easiest for you because you've done those a lot. So this part will be pretty easy for you. So we've got seven groups of 100 and then we've got three groups of 10 and then we've got one group of ones okay you got it all right now i just want to give you another large number to practice with so i want you to take this number write it in expanded form and expanded notation and then we'll check your work all right, so here are my examples of the expanded form and the expanded notation. So take a look at that and see if it matches your work. All right, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope this helps you in